Hi everyone, this is a flip through of a journal I've just completed using a digipack from Artie Mays called Majestic Birds. Very pretty. I like bright colours and it's very nice. Right, size it is 6 by 9. It's a. Um, I've called it Spread Your Wings. I just like the birds, feathers, the music that goes with it. Metal corners I've painted with a bit of um, Inca gold just to brighten them up. They were just looking really dull. And then I've just used uh, a sheet of the paper from the back. For the back. Well, thick. A lot of that's ephemera. There is so much stuff in this kit, it's unreal. Right, inside. This bit's I've left blank. I haven't decoupaged it so it can be written on for journaling. This is one of the backing papers from the kit. <laughs> it is really pretty, really pretty. I've just done a bit of stamp in this one. <laughs> These papers are tea stained, tea dyed. So first of all, we went for six tea bags and it came out looking espresso dyed. And then I obviously haven't done enough on this one. Never mind, try again. Tracing paper, a bit of embossing on it. Um, a flip and some tags. This tag is actually from um, Digital Magpie, although it's the same birds it's a different background but yeah it goes perfectly this is from the kit envelope with the card inside and that's the cover paper isn't it pretty and then we have a little printed glassine bag with a tag. That tag's from Ephemera's Vintage Garden, that one. Some more stamping, a graph paper. This one's from Digital Magpie as well. A little envelope I've made up using one of the backing prints. A tag inside. And some stamping. pocket with a little tag inside. Oh, there we go. And that's one of the, I think it's supposed to be a notebook that you fold in to. I've just cut it in half, it just suited better. Big tag, with some stamping, blank on the back. There is lots of journaling space in this one. Lots of writing. <laughs> That's my original tea stain. Yep, coffee stained. That's a tag. A bit more stamping. I wasn't sure if that was supposed to be a backing page or if that was um, a page in its own right. I just thought that's really pretty. Doily, more stamping. Half page, uh, a little flip pocket, added a bit of lace to it. A couple of tags from the kit, that's an envelope with a, a tag inside. I don't know what these birds are, but oh, nightingale, I've just spotted that. Very pretty. Um, a little paper, paper clip, yeah. Mm -hmm. Paper clip. Another envelope with a note card inside. Some more journaling paper. Tuck spot. That was actually. I think the top of an envelope which I put up. And some more cards. 
just love the brightness of it that's the center love that took spark with the note note card notebook not sure Ledger paper, another altered paper clip with that's a, a note card, and that's an, another envelope from the kit. The kit I have bought some of the add ons to go in it, but it is such good value. Really, I'm journaling. Ah. Back in the nice and go. Another little journey corner. Another envelope. Another notebook in there. Note card, sorry. And a bookmark. <coughs> Excuse me. Ledger paper. Or stamping. Bookmark. And the flip up, flip down. Note tag. Glassine bag, which has been. I'm not sure if you can see that, which has been stamped. A pocket. I think this was originally an envelope. But I liked it, so I thought that would make a nice pocket, and that's a notebook. And stamping. We've gone monochrome with the stamping this time. I kept it all the same colour. Another little coin pocket with a tag. The tags in the back. Another little note card and the journal another flip another couple of tags Oops. tracing paper my not so tea stained paper and back of the book. I thought they went together really well. And see, so you've got loads and loads of writing room in there. Really, really pretty. Yep, like I was saying, amazing value. Very nice. Right, thanks for watching, folks.